As California battles flooding, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration has released its tally for just how much last year's severe weather cost Americans. Errol Barnett takes a look. Hey there, John. This is the key number, more than $165 billion. That's how much last year's weather and climate disasters cost the country, which makes it the third highest in total in the 42 years tracked by NOAA, the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration. Now, those high costs come from some particularly devastating disasters. We had Hurricane Ian, which cost almost $113 billion, placing it above every other hurricane except Katrina and Harvey when it comes to cost, and the Western drought has impacted a variety of industries throughout the region and cost more than $22 billion, making it the second most expensive event of 2022. Now, in total, there were some 18 weather and climate disasters peppered all across the country with disasters that totaled over a billion dollars in losses. You likely live close to one of these locations. And don't worry about the specifics. In general, they include six severe storms, three hail events, four tropical cyclones, two tornadoes. You see them here, a drought, a flood, a winter storm, and a wildfire. The other unnerving thing is that these events are becoming more frequent and costly. As I jump to the next graphic, from 1980 to 2015, NOAA reported that weather disasters cost the U.S. about $1.4 trillion in total. But over the last seven years, there have been 122 separate billion-dollar events that have already cost more than a trillion dollars, that is with a T. And as climate change gets worse, the expected global cost of extreme weather events will increase. By 2040, costs will go up at least 20%. That's according to a Cambridge University study. John. Errol Barnett, thank you.